Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Awake M. I'm Emma, welcome if you're new. Today, or tonight I should say, I'm back with another food haul. This week at Asda, I'll be shopping for a week's worth of groceries for myself and my two girls. So all the basics, disposables, cleaning products, toiletries, snacks, you name it. But I also need to pick up some high protein, low calorie meals, which will form part of my new Herbalife diet that I'll be starting in the morning. I've been putting off going shopping, so I am shopping quite late in the week and also quite late at night because I've been waiting for my products to arrive. My mum's just dropped them off. It is quite late at night and I'd love nothing more than to go and have a nice relaxing bath. But I don't want to put off starting this diet any longer. I'm just really keen to get going with it. And then because I've been putting off going shopping, there's not much left in the cupboard. So the girls aren't too pleased. I've got little lists off them. I think they've sent them to me on WhatsApp. And I've got my own shopping list, so I shouldn't forget anything. My budget this week is £90 and I fully intend to stick to it. I actually enjoy shopping quite late at night because you find that you're in and out a lot quicker. There's no one in your way. There are people working throughout the night, stocking up the shelves, so you can normally get what you want. So, fingers crossed, this will be the case for me. And I'll still have time for a bath when I come home. Let's get going. So starting with fruit and veg and I've got quite a bit to show you because I'm starting my Herbalife diet tomorrow. I want it to be prepared. So I've got some bananas, some strawberries for Bell's Pack lunch, some kiwi fruit and pears which are high in protein for my snacks. I've got a cucumber and some mixed peppers for snacks and to add some meals. Same with the carrots. Sweet potatoes. I've treated myself to some extra special broccoli and asparagus, bean sprouts, sweet and crunchy fine cut salad mix. Quick and simple is what I need right now to keep myself on track. I'm not a huge lover of salads, so yeah, the easier the better for me. 
some washed and ready to eat spinach which I can eat straight out the packet or I can cook to add to some meals. Nice big lettuce which the girls like better than any other. Some coriander and parsley to add to meals. And then again, quick and simple, I've opted for some trimmed spring onions. They were slightly more expensive than the bundles that aren't trimmed, as you'd expect. But <laughs> we're going with the quick and simple theme this week. Which is why I love these pre-prepared chopped onions. So the white and the red, each bag has one medium onion inside. 35p each. Do you know what? They probably don't work out much more expensive than if you buy a bundle and then have to cut them up because I'm not very good at cutting them up, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> On to cupboard foods now. Some crisps, not for me this week. Definitely not. Got some prawn cocktail with my boyfriend. Some flame grilled steak for Lydia and some squares for whoever. Bella doesn't love crisps, so good for her. She hasn't got that one thing off me. <laughs> Some Oreos for Bella's pack lunch, cracker bread for Lydia. Each have a packet of cereal bars, so Lydia's got the Fibre One birthday cake. She gets these quite a lot, and Bella's got the Rice crispy Squares. It's always been hard to get my girls to have breakfast, so these are just something I can offer to them on the way out the door. They can eat in the car if need be, and they're also great snacks. Some Angel Slices for both girls. Snacks for me on my high protein, low calorie diet. I've got some slightly salted rice cakes. I've gone for the gluten free option. Some fruit and seed mix and some almonds. I won't be having too many of these because although they are high in protein, too many of them will be giving me too much fat. Lydia likes the Grey's packs and Aldi's own version as well. So I thought I'd let her try these barbecue flavour giant corn pieces which are quite similar. I've got some warps and thins for Lydia, some mini wraps for pack lunches and Lydia asked for some white chocolate pancakes to add some meals or to snacks. I've got some whole earth crunchy peanut butter, some red kidney beans and some chickpeas. Because I can't drink coffee on me Herbalife diet. I was quite pleased to see this super blend Twinings Wellbeing Collection. You've got four tea bags for defence, four for glow, four for digestion, four for detox and four for sleep. And if I like the flavours I can always buy a box of each. I have bought some Herbalife tea but only in the one flavour raspberry so this will just give me a little bit of variety. So to add to me protein shakes, I needed some milk, dairy free. So I've gone for some almond milk, which is high in protein. I'm just going to try as a zone because I've never really drank. I've tried it, but I've never really drank almond milk on a regular basis. So what I don't want to do is get myself used to the taste of one that's double the price. I'll see how I go with this one. If I really don't like it, then I'll move on to something else more expensive. I picked up three protein yogurts, Asda's own strawberry, an Arla salted caramel and a Lindall's vanilla. Just so I can try each one, see which one I prefer. The one with the most protein is actually the one that costs the least, which is the Asda one. This one was 75p and the others weighed 99 So not much difference there. I've got some jelly pots for Bella for a pack lunch for a change, as well as some yogurt tubes because she likes to eat these in the house as well. Some ham for Bella's wraps for a pack lunch. She's back onto these again. Some daily strips again for Bella's pack lunch. Some eggs for plenty of meals. I've got some reduced fat hummus, which I can have with veggie sticks or even on my slightly salted rice cakes. And then just to try and make me first week on Herb Life. As simple and straightforward and easy to follow as possible. I've picked up this Gym Kitchen jerk chicken meal which has 21 grams of protein and just 288 calories in the whole serving. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I will still be cooking which is why I picked up some lean beef statements 
and then I've also found this convenient ball or bowl maybe I think that's how you pronounce it protein boosting power soup roasted red pepper and tomato 186 calories a serving which would be half a jar but you know what in one full jar you're going to get 23 grams of protein and you're only going to be talking 370 370 calories thereabouts so i could just have this as a whole meal not the cheapest but really convenient and as i've said this week that's what it's all about i need to be able to keep to this nice and simple not commit to making too many fancy meals to begin with from the freezer i picked up some cauliflower rice these are really handy bags just pop them in the microwave and the cooks really quickly Lydia really likes these as an alternative to rice. I haven't been much of a fan, but I can't eat too much rice on my new diet. So these are something I'll be giving a go. Some waffles for Lydia. As you know, this is a staple I buy these most weeks. Some lighter home style chips for Lydia to try. And then for myself, I've got these seeded crust fish fillets. One with pumpkin seeds and buckwheat and the other with linseeds and sunflower seeds. I've never tried these before and they were on special offer. I think they were actually half price today at £1.50. So yeah, I might not have both of them this week. I can always save one for next week. High in protein, low in calorie, low in fat. Perfect for my new meals. I thought this looked really nice. Perfectly baked two wild cod fillets in a tomato and rosemary sauce. You get two portions, each with 170 calories and high in protein. Really, again, going with the theme, quick and simple. No prep, no fuss. Perfect bake in the bag meal. For the girls, I've got some burgers for the weekend and some chicken char grills, which you can have with pasta, rice, chips or just in wraps they really like these i've gone for the sweet and sticky barbecue flavor and the original i've got some ice pops for the girls which i just need to pop in the freezer if i've got space <laughs> and then i didn't need too many cleaning products and toiletries just some kitchen roll for you've guessed it cleaning up after me puppies some bleach some calming bath soak definitely for me <laughs> And some Fijian waterfall and zesty bergamo scent shower gel. Looks really nice and fresh. And just some hand wash to go in my dispensers. On to our meals of the week now. And the first one I'm most excited about. It's a Chinese style omelette with chicken, spring onions, some bean sprouts. A bit of sesame oil, sesame seeds, which I love. And I'm hoping it's going to be a bit like a Chinese takeaway for us. The girls will have this too. On to my lovely Nan's chicken soup recipe, which myself and the girls all love. Just really simple, shredded up chicken with some pale barley, some carrots and some ready chopped, thankfully, onion. And some chicken stock and gravy browning. Classic high protein meal now, bit of chilli beef with some lean beef steak mints, just 5% fat. I'll have this with sweet potato and a little sprinkling of cheese with a side salad. And again, the girls will have this with me. Next up, I'll have my cod fillets in tomato and rosemary sauce with a side salad and some peas. The girls will also have some fish, this battered haddock, which I've had in the freezer for a bit now, and some of these home style chips. Whilst I'm having my nice and easy gym kitchen jerk chicken meal, I'll make the girls some barbecue chicken with some rice. I already have these items in the house and we'll have a side salad too. We'll have grilled chicken with a garlic spinach side dish and the girls can have some couscous on the sides as well. I'm going to cook these seeded fillets of fish with cauliflower rice, broccoli and asparagus. I think the girls may end up asking for chicken grill steaks instead. If I don't feel like cooking, I can always fall back on my bowl high protein soup as well. So there you go guys, I've shown you what I bought. I've shown you what meals myself and the girls will be eating during the week. I say meals the girls will be eating, but that's if all goes to plan. <laughs> it doesn't always. I mean, I'll sit down with the girls when I'm writing out my meal plan. I'll say, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And they'll just be agreeable to anything. 
and then I'll go to cook the meals or put them in front of them and they'll be like, no, can we just have a pizza? Can we just have some chicken off the freezer? I've been there where you're cooking three meals a day for three people and it's not easy, especially when you've been in work all day. So I'm hoping that they really do enjoy these meals this week and I'll continue to plan with them. Now, did I stick to my £90 budget? Just. I personally am seeing the gap between Asda's prices and Aldi's clothes on things like fruit and veg. A lot of the big supermarkets are price matching Aldi's products or pushing sales on their own basics or essentials items. So I'm not walking around thinking, oh, that's a lot cheaper in Aldi, that's a lot cheaper in Aldi, or you can get that half the price in Lidl. Which is good because I do like the variety that you get at Asda, especially in the one that I've just been to because it is huge. But I'm more disciplined these days. I never went near the homewares or clothing aisles because I knew I had no money to spend on them anyway. And also there's nothing that I need. I just stuck to my list. So there we go, two tips for keeping to your grocery budget whenever you shop. Stay away from anything you don't need and stick to your shopping list. Oh, and I nearly forgot another big tip. Leave the kids at home. Or do what I've said before and get them involved in planning. I've even tried giving them their own little budgets for the snacks to get them thinking about what things cost before they start launching them in the trolley. I've had a few surprises at the till when they've done this in the past. But yeah, they are much more thoughtful now. I think me having this channel and then watching a few videos has helped. What's also helped me budget this week was having some of me key ingredients in the house. So I had some chicken, which is frozen in the freezer, quite a lot of that. I had all of me cupboard items, me oils and seasonings. I didn't need any of the more expensive items like the bulk packs of toilet rolls or laundry tablets. But given that I'll probably need to buy some of these things next week, I'll be going to Aldi. But yeah, I'm still pleased that I'm coming under budget given everything that I did buy. I'll be shitting everything that I'll be eating and drinking from tomorrow when I start my Herbalife diet. It will be tomorrow. As well as where I'm at health-wise and weight-wise and where I plan to get to. So if you're interested in this, click on the bell so you're notified when it's posted. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, please just leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and on planning and intentional living. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.